Hey, how you doing? It's Curtis on Rebel Films. Here with Zeus the Legend. And coming up, we're going to have an interview. My name is DJ the Great, a.k.a. Zeus the Legend, a.k.a. Your Mother's Lover, a.k.a. That Dude from PG. Um, leader of DMV Legends, uh, also leader of the Assassins, and uh, I'm a PG representative. Shout out to all my folks in PG County uh, and the whole DMV. When did you start rapping? I started rapping technically in high school, but I didn't really get good to the end of high school, more so the beginning of college. Uh, it was more so a thing about how my rap wasn't good, but my poetry was good, and I, I couldn't understand why I couldn't get it together until I made it more personal and more uh, more more life-oriented. Did you always enjoy rap music? I can't say I never did. I can't say I always have. Uh, they got to a point in time where hip hop was dead and I believed it. And I was like, I'm never gonna make it in rap now because they shot it down. Uh, but then I started getting into rock music and jazz and over, boss and over. It really helped me expand my horizons. And as newer, better artists started to come back into it, it, it helped me grow my my creativity as well as become something more unique in the game so you know I I say I always have been I've just always found new methods to incorporate into uh, rap music <laughs> do you have any music videos no not at the moment I only have one that I'm featuring in actually there's a couple I'm featuring in but only one that I'm rapping in uh, it's called let it go official remix uh, Wayne J, Zeus, Space Jones. Shout out to Space Jones and uh, Wayne J. Uh, it's doing pretty good right now. I think it's about, it's about, it said like 15,000 views. What's some places you performed at? Um, I've performed at uh, AUP. It's uh, Art Under Pressure. It's on Georgia Ave in uh, Uptown DC. Also Roz Lounge. Just about the same place. They're right next door to each other. Uh, Everlasting Life Cafe, also on Georgia Ave. Uh, Karma Lounge, back when it used to exist, at the Boulevard down in uh, Largo, PG County. Um, a couple hair shows, a couple fashion shows, a couple ciphers. I've had my share of uh, shows. I've had my share of shows. So what was your childhood dream? Um, my childhood dream was to be a doctor because my mind was poisoned by older family members that told me it was good and they kept telling me how much money I was going to make and then one day I realized I didn't want to see all the blood so then I just decided that I want to just do something that will make me happy for the rest of my life that I could do at least until I retire and not have a problem with. Have you made any famous artists? Um, not exactly. Uh, I saw Wale or met him a couple times but you know, that was whatever. Uh, people that I consider famous to myself, I met Gordo Brega, Chris Bars, G2, Roddy MC, Proverb, Lyricist, a lot of great artists from my area that uh, haven't got the uh, publicity they deserve. I've met a couple of them, and I'm pretty sure that when they get on, they'll be on big because it's, it's good music, especially from the whole DMV movement. So uh, not too much, but I, I, met some, I met some pretty good people. Any artists you would like to work with? Um, yeah, Marley D, Uptown XO, Gordo Brega, Rod MC, any actually anyone I just named. Um a couple people in the industry most especially, Kendrick Lamar, J. Cole, Lupe Fiasco, Andre three thousand would be cool. Uh Odd Future would be nice, Wu Tang, Jay Z, Kanye, the less can go on forever. Any memorable moments in your career? Um, every music video is a memorable moment. We have to see how we're not going to get arrested. So that's pretty cool. Um, uh, I did a show at AUP. I think it was the third time I ever, I ever did a show there. And the love that I got after the show was enormous. Uh, I had never been to a show where I performed in, so many, in front of so many people that I didn't know. 
And the love that I got after that was crazy. I had girls tossing up their numbers. I felt like I was a celebrity for the first time in my life. It was it was pretty cool for somebody who's not really anything yet. You got any advice for any upcoming artists? Stay true, stay humble, you know, watch your words. It's a, it's a dirty game out here and a lot of people will flip things you do or take things you do. So make good friends, learn how to be a personable person and uh, learn how to learn how to work out your issues before they come to light. Do you have any upcoming projects? I'm working on my first mixtape uh, and a couple other things with a couple other artists, but those are still under wraps. No official dates, no official names, no official people or places, just projects in the making. Alright, Zeus man, I want to thank you for a good interview, man. No Let the people know, you know, where they can find you at. Oh wide right, um you can find me at Z E U S L G N D Z on Twitter. Um, Zeus the Legend on Instagram. Shout out to DMV Legend. Shout out to the Assassins. We coming soon. Uh, shout out to the whole DMV PG County. That's where I'm rapping. Uh, DC. Shout out to them. It's like the Brotherhood. Uh, shout out to the Brotherhood. And uh, shout out to my man P Moss. I got you, Wayne J. I got you, Lewinsky Monroe. I got you. Uh, shout out to my man Ramsey. And. I'm going to holler at y'all later.